Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of Cocktail Fridays. Last week we took a look back at a tiki tour that I did in 2016 in an effort to visit unique tiki temples along the west coast. This week we continue the tour as it takes us further down the coast to Portland, Oregon and to this week's drink, the coconut. So last week our adventure left us in Seattle, Washington where we hit up several tiki temples there. Now it's on to the next great destination of Portland, Oregon, which houses both an extremely historical tiki-themed bar and an incredibly great new one from the Neo-Tiki era. All right, day two. Now we're heading to Portland, see some sights, and then hit Alibi and uh, Haley Pele tonight. That would be great. Anyway, we'll see you then. The first was the Alibi, which is not just Oregon's oldest tiki bar, but one of the oldest in North America, established in 1947. The space inside is enormous, featuring a tremendously long bar, a spacious lounge area featuring lamps from the original 40s and 50s era, stained with decades worth of cigarette smoke, and even a karaoke lounge off to the side for large parties. It's an incredible piece of history and certainly worth a visit, but in my opinion, the real gem is Hale Pele, which had just recently opened when I visited it. Not only is the space reminiscent of a Trader Vic's or Don the Beachcombers, but features events like thunderous lightning shows that you'd find at a classic bar like Tonga Room to further create that sense of escapism. And it's here that I encountered the drink that's on our menu for tonight, the coconut. This recipe, appropriately so, is from the Tiki Revival era and comes to us from Tiki wizard and historian Jeff Beachbum Berry, who created it around 1994. However, since I had this drink at Hale Pele, we're actually going to use their version of the recipe tonight, which doesn't vary too much, but just a bit. And it's still a surprisingly simple recipe, which consists of just one ounce lime juice, one ounce coconut cream, one ounce coconut rum, and two ounces of dark Jamaican rum. Also, you're going to want to have some 151 proof rum on hand, some croutons, and some cinnamon for an extra bit of pizzazz at the end, but we'll get to that. All right, so let's get started. First, you're going to want to Squeeze one ounce of fresh lime juice, especially because you're going to want to use these for something fun later. Nice. Toss that in. One ounce of coconut rum. In this case, we're using Malibu coconut rum. One ounce of coconut cream. In this case, we're using Coco Real. I also highly recommend using Coco Lopez, but this will do the trick nicely. Mm-hmm. And finally, two ounces of dark Jamaican rum. I am using Lost Spirits dark Jamaican rum. Noise. All right, so it's shaking time. Now, normally you would take all these ingredients, put some ice and put it into like a smoothie mixer or just a blender. Uh, but in this case, we're just gonna use some crushed ice and shake it all up and it should give us like a similar result. I'm gonna retain some to top the drink off with so we can set the garnishes on. Here we go. Shaking it up for practical purposes also just sounds cool. All right, now let's pour it in. Get yourself a nice Collins glass, hurricane glass, or in this case, we're using a Moai glass. I'll put a little bit of ice on top. So there you go. Now this is technically called a coconut. Now if you want to make it a coconut re-entry, you're going to want to light it on fire, just like an astronaut on re-entry. That's just where the name comes from if it's not obvious already. All right, I'm going to stick in the straw. We've got our spent lime shell from earlier. Sit that on top. I've got some croutons here and I've got my 151 proof rum. Now let's soak the crouton in it as well as let it sit into the lime shell. And now... Yeah! There it goes! And of course, for added measure, take a little cinnamon. Yeah! Awesome! Woohoo! <laughs> That's great. So there you are. Coconut re-entry. Beautiful. All right, let's give it a taste. <sighs> Remember to blow it out first. Mmm. Fantastic, as expected, it's got a very coconut forward flavor to it. You've got some of that citrus in there. The dark rum, in this case, with the Holly Paley recipe, sort of pulls it a little bit back into the dark side. And with that cinnamon and the 151 on top, it just adds a great aromatic effect as you're sipping the drink. 
Thanks, Beach Bomb Barry and Holly Pele. And thanks to you for tuning in this week. And tune in next time as we continue the Tiki Tour down to San Francisco, one of the epicenters of Polynesian pop culture. Until then, cheers. Especially because you're going to want to use these for something fun later. It's not sex. It's... Also, you're going to want to have some 150 rum, 150 rum proof rum, 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 any rum, rum, rum. <laughs> Till next time. Cheers. Oh God, it's so awful. Why do we make these? I don't even drink alcohol. Give me a, give me a wine cooler. <laughs> <laughs>